guys, I'm Sammy and welcome back to the Soul Brothers channel and today I'm going to be reviewing the Puma Clyde Hardwood. So uh, this is basically Puma's new basketball shoe. They've been releasing a steady flow of basketball shoes which is good and this only goes for 120 bucks. I feel like that's a pretty good price. It's not quite like crazy budget but it's still like on the budget side of uh, things for price. So if you guys want to get it, I'll leave a link in the description box. But let's get it started off with the traction. So as far as the traction goes, so Puma says on their website that this is high abrasion rubber. So uh, obviously it's made for you know, durability, maybe even outdoor use. Uh, I'm not really 100% sure on that because the herringbone and the rubber is actually kind of soft. Yeah, you know, the rubber on, I guess the medial side where the ball of your foot is, is a lot harder. And also in, on the heel, but like just the herringbone is a little bit soft. But since they're saying it's high abrasion, I feel like durability will be good. As far as uh, the bite goes, it's incredible. The bite on a clean cord is really, really good. It stops on the dime, has a nice little squeak to it as well, but it does pick up dust. And it's, it's not horrible, it picks it up really, really fast. So like, I constantly, constantly had to wipe, but it was really easy and light wipe. So, um, you know, I just do this and I'm good to go. I have a few good stops and it picks up dust again and I need it to wipe again. So most ho hoopers are, you know, most people are usually just, they're, they're okay with that, they're used to it. But you know, there are people like me and like Donnie Boy where we don't really like to, you know, wipe it as much, so. Um, that was kind of annoying, but if you don't mind the wiping, and even if you're playing on a dusty court, if you constantly wipe, then you should you should be okay, you should be fine. But when the dust did build up, it, I wasn't sliding out like crazy where it's dangerous. It just like wasn't a good bite, you know. So like some shoes, like for example the Jordan 31, when there was too much dust build up on the outsole, it would just be like, you know, and then uh, it'd be dangerous. But this is just you know not as good of a bite. So uh, traction, really, really good. I was very impressed with it. Moving on to the heel to toe transition. Heel to toe transition was actually pretty fluid. Uh, there is a nice little curved shape here in the heel. You know, it, it's, it's not like directly flat and also it's not very edged out. So that helped. Uh, because there's really no heel compression because all of this caging and the outsole coming up here and the forefoot there's a it's really easy to flex and there's a nice curved shape here in the forefoot so very smooth very fluid heel to toe transition and uh, moving on to the cushion so they're using full length pro foam and uh, it, as you guys can see it's very very caged the only exposed part of the pro, pro foam is on this medial side and you're not gonna compress the cushion here at all, you know? So uh, I feel like Puma needs to lay off on the caging. You know, it's a little too much, especially in like all of their shoes, they just cage it up like crazy. But I did break it in, and once I did break it in, uh, it was actually pretty soft, you know? Like right underneath my foot, there's a nice, soft, plush feeling. It wasn't crazy soft or crazy bouncy or anything like that, but it was just, it has a slight compression, very slight, and also it felt uh, pretty soft. So, um, I mean, I, I'd say it's mostly just response. Core feel was really good and impact protection was really good as well. I mean, I feel like, you know, if you want more of a responsive, minimal type of cushion feel, this is a great cushion setup for you. Also, like, it has all the good attributes for me, in my opinion, in the cushion setup that I want. So the cushion setup is incredible, but don't expect anything crazy, you know, or out of the ordinary for like, you know, crazy bounce or crazy compression or anything like that. Uh, moving on to the materials. So in the forefoot, we have a fully knitted material and it feels incredible. It's not crazy thick like the LeBron 17s, but it's also like not crazy minimal like the Curry 6. I'd say it's somewhere in between that. It's really soft, it feels incredible, it looks dope and it feels really, really soft on foot. So I really like what Puma did with that. And then here in the ankle area, you know, they use a pretty nice leather material with some suede touches and, you know, it really doesn't matter what the materials are in the ankle and midfoot area because uh, you don't really feel it on foot. So as long as, you know, it's not too bulky or anything, I mean, I'm okay with it. So yeah, uh, materials, high quality, it feels very soft, also supportive, and very comfortable on foot. So uh, I really like the material choice that they put on. And as far as the fit goes, I went true to size and it was an incredible fit for me. Uh, I'd say it's slightly narrow. It was, it was choking my foot out just a little bit. I felt I felt it being snug with wise, but you know, knit materials do stretch out, you know, once you break it in. So uh, now it's an incredible fit for me. Uh, as far as the toe space goes, there's no toe space. You know, I, I like to have a really tight toe area for me and my basketball shoes. The fit for me overall was really great. As far as the tongue goes, the tongue is attached to the material that goes underneath 
this knit material and so it's basically like a half booty tongue very easy to slide this shoe on so fit really really nice for me if you're a wide footer you should probably go up half a size but of course it is recommended to you know try it on before you buy it you know so uh, there's the fit there it was really nice for me support and lockdown also was really good the caging on the lateral side comes up a lot you can see kind of like an indent here the caging extends upward so you do have good really good lateral containment actually and then of course it's a really low to the ground cushion you have a you have a pretty wide base i felt laterally stable yeah ankle protection so support and lockdown i feel like it's gonna be good puma has basically all their guys you know playing in the shoe you know like marvin bagley jr and uh, some other guys I think, you know, uh, DeMarcus Cousins was playing in this. And also they have some uh, some of their smaller guys like Terry Rozier playing in this. So, you know, the support is obviously there for, you know, everyone. All right, moving on to the weight. So it's pretty damn heavy. So 14.71 ounces. And uh, the left one is 14.53 ounces. And uh, yeah, it feels pretty heavy. But it doesn't feel like crazy bulky or anything. I feel like most of the weight is coming from, you know, the caging and the leather materials. So they definitely could have made it a little bit lighter, but um, support is there and all that. And the traction is really good. Fit was really good and support was really good. So I felt really fast and quick on my feet while playing in it. And I didn't really no notice the weight too much, you know? But um, I obviously would have liked it to be a little bit lighter if they could have. As far as casual use and just step in comfort, really comfortable, you know, the Pro Foam. It's a little bit harder for me to feel the Pro Foam. Uh, personally, you know, just walking around, I could really feel it, you know, when I'm jogging. But still, like, the materials and all that are very, very comfortable. And for casual use, this will be a great option. And also, it looks incredible, you know, and moving on to the aesthetics, this is an incredible looking shoe. It doesn't really look like a basketball shoe, but you can hoop in it. And also, it looks like a casual lifestyle shoe as well. All right, moving on to the ventilation. The ventilation wasn't very good. Um, not a lot of airflow through this. Uh, I felt a little bit, but you know, it's mostly hot. And when, when you start playing, uh, your feet do get hot. Uh, moving on to the durability. Durability of the shoe, I feel like this shoe will last a very, very long time. You know, uh, it's built like a tank. There's a lot of caging and stuff. So uh, wrapping things up, 120 bucks. I really, really like this shoe. And Puma really surprised me with the Clyde hardwood. So for 120 bucks, 100% cop, there are a few things I would change. So uh, obviously I, I would like it to be a little bit lighter. And also I would probably get rid of a lot of this caging because you know, I want to feel some cushion. You know what I'm saying? Like even though the Pro Foam was pretty damn nice, uh, I feel like they could have made it a little bit nicer. Other than that, incredible shoe and I 100% recommend it. And I feel like anyone can play in these, you know, like big dudes. Uh, even if you're shifty, it's supportive. Smaller guys, you know, you should be fine with this too. You know, it feels very quick, very responsive, even though it's not like the lightest option out there. So uh, again, if you guys want to cop, I'll leave a link in the description box, but this shoe is incredible. So that's it. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.